Hi, welcome to this Columbus product video. Today, we would like to show you how to match PO invoices by using Invoice Workflow for Microsoft Dynamics AX. Invoice Workflow for Microsoft Dynamics AX enables you to save time and reduce administrative costs while improving the consistency and reliability of invoice processing. Implement the invoicing practice that best fits your business with a configurable, versatile workflow. Increase the efficiency and accuracy of finance management by eliminating paper invoices and needless data entry. Accelerate invoice processing to take advantage of early payment discounts and elevate your relationships with vendors and suppliers. Let's have a look at the software and see how to import some PO invoices and match them in the system. In this example, we're going to import some PO invoices, showing how the system will match up the PO invoice. The purchase order and the receipt are provided. The last two are already existing in the system upon import, so that will allow you to bypass approving that invoice if everything already matches. So the first step when you log in to Invoice Workflow and Dynamics AX is under the Periodic menu to select Import Export. From there, I want to pick the proper format that I'm using for my import. And this example, I'm going to use an XML file. So I make my selection and click Execute. So from there, I want to make sure I pick the proper format ID and use today's date to flag my transactions that I'm importing. And then my other option here is that Post Journal. This will then post that record that I'm importing that matches against the purchased order and the receipt, without me having to touch it in Invoice Workflow. So from there, I click OK, and I let the system begin the import. Now you can see the info log that appears once the file has been uploaded. I think this type of process is something that you can schedule to run overnight on the badge, so your users should not have to do it every day. So you can see the different file names that are brought in, so that we know what is done successfully. Since I post it and suggested that it posted by clicking that box, it's going to try and post every minutes available. As you can see, that there's some data that was excluded because it's not complete, so we're not finished. So in our example here, it's this purchase order. You can see the voucher number that's been assigned, and you can see that's been posted, and it's done on the auto posting. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at that purchase order, and you can see the information that's been received against it. So from here, just click Close and close out this form. And then when you go to My All Purchase Orders, this form is available in Invoice Workflow. It's the same type of form that you find in the Accounts table and in Procurement Sourcing. So my purchase order was number 538. You can see I now have a status of invoiced. And from there, I can click on the Invoice tab at the top and then the invoice under the History tab. Here is that purchase order. And again, I can see that information. I can use this Document button to take a look at that invoice if I like. So I can see that that information is here. I can also still go back to my Invoice Overview form and look for that information there has already been posted as well. Then close out and your process is complete. This ends the product video. For more information, please visit www.columbusglobal.com. Thank you for watching.